How's it going? Happy New Year, uh, 2021. I hope you all are uh, doing well. Um, whoa, there we go, zoom now. Um, I've been a little bit off the grid lately, which is uh, good for me and good for you. You don't have any videos you have to watch. Um, but I wanted to make a quick video just uh, showing what we have been doing, a little project I did. Um, this was for Leo's birthday. Uh, about a month ago, December 5th. And um, if you're like us, you're supposed to be staying inside so that you don't die. Um, and so if you <laughs> uh, are maybe going a little crazy because the weather's not good, um, this little rock climbing wall might be good for you to get the kids some exercise, move them around and challenge their, you know, whatever, climbing abilities. Because the parks, I guess the parks are back open now, but if you're in Washington, it rains a lot. So, you know, a little indoor park here. So we decided to do a little rock climbing wall um, for Leo's birthday. It's very simple. Anyone can do it. And I actually recorded the whole thing, um, the build process, but I sent back the camera that I was using because I didn't like it. Um, and the card was in the camera. So... I no longer have that footage, so you'll just have to watch me talk about it and visualize what building would look like. And also this video is gonna be shorter because of it, so you're welcome. So uh, here's the wall. I wanted to do something kind of like artistic and cool so it would like look good when it's not in use, which turns out it's actually a lot. The kids don't use it very much, but um, they need a little, to make it fun, you gotta have to kind of coach it and give ideas and make games out of it. But um, basically we just screwed plywood into the wall and then screwed handholds onto it. Um, so I went to Home Depot and got three quarter inch plywood and I had them cut it there um, into 15 inch chunks. So they're like 15 and a half by four foot. So a four by eight sheet of plywood, I got six of these mini sheets out of um, because I kind of wanted to build it kind of fun. Um, so I have 12 total, um, and I used like the sandy plywood, I think, or maybe it's birch. There's birch there too, um, but you can get the the rough like OSB stuff and just sand it down and paint it yourself. But um, I was trying to do this covert and fast because it was for Leo's birthday, so I <laughs> I just uh, paid the extra price for the the sanded stuff. So. Um, Tried to find a stud <laughs> for all these, so I used a stud finder. Um, and our studs turned out they were 24 inch on center, not 16 like I thought they were. So for a 48 inch slab, it's kind of hard to find studs on both sides. Um, but I did all right, and when I when I missed the stud, um, I just used drywall screws. So um, usually your house would probably be 16 inch on centers, um, but there's concrete on the other side of this. That's the load bearing part. This is just uh, to make it look pretty. Um, but yeah, we screwed it in and I used a level <laughs> to make it level. And then this gap in between all of these is just like the space that a level is. So I just stuck the level in and then screwed this in, stuck the level in and then screwed this in. Oh. And my dad helped too. So I screwed it in with three inch construction screws, big ones. And then I just filled the holes with um, wood wood filler and then sanded it down um, and so that secured it to the wall um, I tried to like put carpet behind some of them to like not scuff up the wall so if I ever wanted to take this down I could do it um, but <laughs> the carpet wasn't working and I am definitely gonna have to re drywall this wall if we ever take this down so you just got to commit to it and do it you're gonna wreck a wall but it's gonna look cool and be fun after you're done. So got the plywood up and kind of just spaced it out how it would fit on our wall. Our ceilings are low down here. Um, so it's more of like a traverse and then you go to this pole and then you go down. So that's kind of the, kind of the idea. Um, and then I got these holds on Amazon. They're real chunky kids playground holds. I think they're supposed to go outside. Um, they come with big fat screws that you're supposed to put in and you're supposed to like hammer in these like little spiky circle things. I'll put pictures up next to my face. Um, and then screw these in, but I didn't want to do that. So I use like 
inch and inch and a half screws and got washers that fit and then just screwed these straight into the plywood. Um, and I was trying to not go into the drywall, um, but I think I poked into the drywall a bunch of places. <laughs> so it's gonna be lots of holes in there when I'm done. Um, but these holes are real good. Um, the kids have no problem <laughs> gripping these, um, but 25 of them did not cover this wall and then that back beam over there. Um, so I got a bag of 50, like real professional holds. Um, and I'll put links to all this stuff below. But these guys are like real hard to use, <laughs> like real pinchy uh, on the fingers. So they're more like footholds if you're wearing shoes. Um, but you know, the kids can grow into it and become real professional rock climbers someday. Um, but this holds me, it holds, I'm 200 pounds and it holds me fine. Um, so these I used screws just like inch and a quarter, trying to not go through the plywood. Um, and sometimes I like would screw a three inch one in to hit the stud just to make it extra strong. Um, and then for these like little hand holds, I did uh, one inch drywall screws. Um, so they're real tiny, but there's three of them and they're small holds. And you don't have a lot of outward pressure. It's mostly like downward or sideways. Um, so they hold fine. Um, and that's kind of it. I just kind of placed them randomly. Um, I know at the rock climbing gym, you can like put tape on them to make routes kind of have some fun. Um, if I was gonna do it again, I would probably make some like, just two by four handholds, just real easy ones, kind of miter a cut and just make a big chunky hold. Um, and that would be a real cheap, easy way to do it. Um, I think I still might do that. Kind of like sand that hard, that hard corner and kind of make a good hold for it. So um, that might be my next thing, but for now, this, this works great. Um, and then kind of the game that we play is they climb this pole here, um, and then they go across this like Ninja Warrior set uh, to get to the rock climbing wall, or they go up this wall and go across. So I'll put a link to that Ninja set down below. Um, and this is a beam, I know not everyone has a beam in their house, but we lucked out, had a good spot for it. So um, I think that's it. If you guys have any questions, or if you think I did it wrong, I always love to hear feedback after the project's over. <laughs> or maybe you'll help someone else uh, do it right. But uh, thanks for watching. Hope you all are doing good during the lockdown or whatever we're doing these days. Uh, this might give you something fun to do with your kids. Um, and we do have a crash pad down there. We should probably have more, but we just kind of slide it around as they walk or climb. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you guys around.